Hi all and welcome to my channel the F and IT guy. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to block mail attachments from coming through specifically on extension and we're going to be doing this on Office 365 the Exchange Admin Center. So the reason for this is there's certain mail files that just shouldn't be coming through to your end users and that is normally because it's spam or spoofing or some type of illegitimate way of getting into accounts. So what we're going to be doing we're going to go to the Exchange Admin Center on Office 365 and I'll be posting that link down below. Once you've opened it, go to Mailflow, go to Rules and then in your rules we're going to be creating a new rule. First off, click the little plus sign there, create new rule and then before you do anything at the bottom choose more options. This will allow the apply this filter just to give you a bit more options when choosing it. So we're going to start off by going putting a name in there that's descriptive and under the rules we're going to choose in any attachment file extension includes these words so it's going to ask you what file extensions and as an example I've used before HTML or HTM and you can specify more and more here. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that you don't need. Examples exe, uh, bbs. This is all stuff that there's no reason that I found that needs to be sent out. If this file is going to be sent to you um, or to your end user, it's probably for a uh, dangerous purpose. You know, so they want to get into account, they want to infect a machine, something like that. So this is just a few examples of if you can stop, click the OK button and then under do the following we're going to have two, two options. So option one is we're going to block the mail completely. So let's just have a look here quickly. Block the message and don't notify anyone. And the reason why I choose this one is because when I tested it I saw that the sender is also receiving the notification that's been blocked. And we don't want that. We want them to think, hey, this mail has gone through. We want them not to try another way of getting in. Because this doesn't protect against safe links or anything like this. This only protects against um, attachments coming through with specific extensions. You will still have to go and set up something like safe links um, to also stop it from coming through. So we don't want them to have multiple attack surfaces to try and get through. The second option we're going to say is add action. And over here, we're going to say notify the recipient. So that is notify the recipient with a message. And that message can be something descriptive. So what will happen now, it, it will delete it, it won't notify anybody, including it won't notify the sender, but as a secondary thing we've said notify the recipient. This way we're going to just, when there's false positives, we're just going to basically uh, flush out some of them, because the potential is a false positive depending on the business that you're in, and sometimes a file would come through as HTML. HTML for my side it's very rare i've very limited to see this maybe something like a year in function where they try and make it look nicely or you know they don't put it in a pdf or something like that it is it's more users that is uneducated in how to put stuff in pdf or they're trying to be fancy or something like that very limited i don't think it's something worth taking the risk for so from my side i've blocked htm html exe bbs all those kind of files you can do more depending on your business type and monitoring the mail is probably the best way of going so i'm sure there's lists out there of stuff you can block and if you look under the spam filters and the malware filters you'll see a list of exe and extensions in there that you also can have a look through and, and potentially block it once you've done you can basically click save none of the other options is necessary to immediately take effect you can go through them if you want to but this is the minimum that's need, needed click save
and as you can see it's on there with the priority too so i'm going to just disable this one because i've already created one specifically for hdmls and i will go amend that one for the necessary stuff um, the html file one is the one i tested with with 100 percent success thus far so yeah i'm hoping that will help you guys going further um, this is something that i found recently is a necessity actually uh, we've had an incident where I had to go and do uh, um, what do they call it damage control we've had an incident where I had to go and do damage control um, and user was um, compromised through an HTML file that came through and a fake Microsoft was open so it's absolutely necessary to block files that's not necessary to come through to your exchange it just makes your life easier protects the user especially the guys that don't know and if it's a false positive, we can go and create exemptions. It's not a problem. So if it helped you, please, you know, take this message, take this uh, video, send it out there, share it, get the other people to invest in doing this. It is an absolute necessity. Thank you.